I want to start this off by saying this is by far the dumbest thing I've ever written or created in my life. This is also just a disclaimer that I don't necessarily support or not support any of this content, it just exists. It's also a perfect time to mention that this video is definitely not for kids. ABO content is usually sexual, so not safe for work things will be mentioned a lot. Consider this your warning. With that disclaimer out of the way, this might be making you wonder why I'm even making this video and I don't have an answer to that. There's really no rhyme or reason for this beyond my own curiosity. While on my own fanfiction deep dives, I have found many things that can be considered odd or downright illegal. By this point in my life, after reading fanfiction since I was about 11, I don't really find myself surprised by what people come up with anymore. However, there does come a point where I find certain tags showing up more often than not, and this led me down the rabbit hole that is Omegaverse. This leads to our first question that is, what is Omegaverse, also known as Alpha, Beta, Omega, or ABO? To put it simply, Omegaverse is an alternate universe trope commonly used in fanfiction. It involves dividing the general populace into three categories, Alpha, Beta, and Omega, with Alphas usually being the dominant members of society, and the Omegas at the bottom. In most cases, it's used for erotic purposes, and this is the most bare-bones way of putting it, but there are other common traits that go along with it. From this basic summary, things don't seem too odd, but those are just the guaranteed shared traits of any Omegaverse fic. There's actually even more, which is where the weird stuff comes in. For starters, Omegaverse focus mainly on male pregnancy, or mpreg. How is this possible? Well, that varies on the writer, but it can be from Omega males being intersex to anal babies. Yeah. Furthermore, beyond the pregnancy, male omegas can also go into something called a heat, which is based on the obvious ones that occur in animals. It's really just a time for the omega to be horny and good to write porn. Sometimes writers will make it so this is the only time for male omegas to get pregnant too. Additionally, omegas can produce a substance called slick, which acts as a lube inside their assholes and sometimes even grow breasts during pregnancy. In contrast, the alpha males are what are breeding these omegas and causing the pregnancies, while an omega goes into heat, an alpha goes into rut, which is pretty much the same thing but for a shorter amount of time, and opposed to the omega's slick, common trend in omegaverse is to give the alpha a knot like a dog. This nodding is actually one of the reasons for not only omegaverse, but werewolf and alien smut, considering bestiality is illegal but people still found it hot, so giving the knot to a sentient creature made it okay somehow. You might also be wondering, where are the girls during this, and I'm going to be honest, I don't even think the fanfic writers know. Considering that about 90% of Omegaverse only focuses on male-only couples, the knowledge of female-male or female-female Omegaverse is very limited. In general, just assume that alpha girls probably have penises because they're usually able to impregnate people too. There's also the question of where the betas and alpha, beta, omega, and they're literally part of the title, this is something that, while I can't say for certain, I assume it's because of the sexual nature of the AU. Betas tend to be written as just everyday humans we see normally, without ruts or heats or knots and the like, so if you wrote about a beta couple, you'd just be writing normal smut. The general appeal of Omegaverse is because of its animalistic traits, and betas are the exception to that. It's not like they're never written into fix as main characters, but they'll usually get sidelined, so don't expect too much of them. This already might have you going, oh, uh, okay, but bear with me, it's not as if Omegaverse started these trends. In fact, things such as mpreg or even nodding kinks go back into the 90s and beyond. That's where the basis of Omegaverse even started, which leads us into our main topic of, where did Omegaverse even come from? A post on Dreamwidth by a user named Netwait provides an in-depth essay about this, including a timeline from 2005 to 2011. I'm going to summarize the basics for the sake of this video, but I recommend reading it if you want to go into further detail about the topic. While actual ABO wasn't coined until the 2010s, fix that combined aspects of it date back to the 1990s with X-Files fanfiction centered on male breeders, or even in 2005 with Trary fanfiction that had alphas and omegas but under different names as well as Heat, Empreg, Slick, and the like. However, while these fix include some of the traits of Omegaverse, the fully developed trope wasn't established until later. Surprisingly, Omegaverse actually has a mostly agreed upon starting point, and it seems to be with 2010 supernatural fanfiction, or more specifically the shipping of Sam and Dean's actors called J2. The supernatural fandom back then was already pretty weird considering a lot of its fic content was pretty cracky and or incestual. 
This was just a good foundation for kinks to grow upon, including the ones prominent in Omegaverse. In May of 2010, a kink meme prompt centered on J2 sprung up, and it is one of the culprits for the popularity of alpha nodding. I'll display the prompt on screen, but I don't really feel like reading that out loud if I'm gonna be honest with you. This prompt led to what can be considered probably the first Omegaverse fic, minus some bits and bobbles, this being I ain't no lady, but you'd be the tramp by a user called to dirty as sock. Even though it had no Omegas yet, the betas actually fulfilled this role. It also combined many of the already established Omegaverse traits, such as nodding, mpreg, and other animalistic tendencies. In fact, the author originally posted this fic into a bestiality forum that's still up for some reason, despite thankfully not being posted onto anymore. From there, the supernatural fandom just sort of latched on and created more similar prompts. More specifically, a prompt in both November 2010 and then reposted in January of 2011, created the first documented Alpha, Beta, Omega three-part division, which is what's commonly used today. So there you have it, that is the actual origin of Omegaverse, or at least the term. The individual kinks themselves date back even further, such as Mpreg in the 1980s, or even Nodding itself considering it was based in bestiality, which predates written human history. Now that we know the origins of Omegaverse, we can be left to wonder about the continuation of it. Omegaverse actually picked up rather quickly in Western fandom circles. It crossed into other fandoms around August of 2011, not even a year after the creation of the trope itself. It then just proceeded to spread, and by 2013 to 2014, it had reached Chinese and Japanese BL and doujinshi circles. Considering the origins of the trope itself, it's no surprise that the Supernatural fandom has the most Omegaverse fix in existence on AO3, or Archive of Our Own. However, the runner-ups are also not too surprising, with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, BTS, Teen Wolf, and My Hero Academia falling in place soon after. Despite the growing popularity of Omegaverse though, it still isn't too prominent in fandoms. While every fandom might have a couple of these fix, it's far from the majority. Even the most saturated of these have less than even 6% Omegaverse, that being Yuri on Ice. In fact, Omegaverse makes up less than 1% of total AO3 content created each month. With all that being said, where does that leave us? Both you, the viewer, and me, the creator. And that is... I don't know. I really don't know. What do I do with this information? What do you do with this information? We now both know way more about Omegaverse fanfiction than we really needed to, and really wanted to in the first place. So, uh, anyways, here we go. I hope both of our curiosities are at least satisfied, I guess. <laughs>